make it so severe. We're gonna hook it up. We're gonna come on in the kitchen and we're gonna make it great. Ooh, yeah. Come on in the kitchen. We're gonna get started on something so delicious today. Salsa Verde. So I would not say that this is a truly authentic or traditional recipe. This is my take on it. I am just inspired by incredible Mexican food. It is one of my absolute favorite things to eat. And I just can't wait to share this recipe because it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> We're dancing now. So this is the thing about it. You can use this for basically anything. Like I love to use it with chips. Um, I love to combine it with guacamole. I love to add it to enchiladas. Stay tuned for the next video for that. <laughs> I mean, I literally could put this on everything. It's so, so, so delicious and it's so versatile. And you only need a few ingredients and just a few minutes and you can make this. Let's get started. <laughs> you can start this recipe two different ways. You can either boil your tomatillos and your jalapeno, or you can broil it. It depends on the flavors that you want. When you broil, you actually bring out a lot more sweetness. And if you want this to be a little bit more tart, I suggest the boiling, which is what I like. So we're gonna boil. We start by adding some water to a big pot and we're gonna bring that to a boil and then we're gonna toss in everything. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ooh wee. We've got this nice and tender and it's gonna go right into our heavy duty blender. So next, I'm going to add in some cilantro. Now we're gonna add in some onions. <laughs> and some garlic. Some fresh squeezed lime juice. And finally, we're gonna salt this today. So, you know, you want a nice sort of savory kick. Add enough, but I would sort of Take your time with that. You can always go back and add more. <laughs> I'm All right, let's blend this up. So it's all blended up, and now I'm gonna do a quick taste test to see if it needs a little bit more salt or if we're all good. <laughs> Just a little bit more salt. Just, just a little bit more. Okay. Blend that really quickly. And it's ready to go. Oh, yeah. Now as this sits, it will start to thicken up a little bit more. Remember, you can use this for anything. It's so versatile. In fact, I'm going to use it in my blackened chicken enchiladas. Make sure you tune in to the next video. Make sure you head to grandbaby-cakes.com to grab this recipe and so many more. And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out my weekly recipe videos.